Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 20, and this is war number 8, and we're going up against an alliance called Sin 6. Now, I've scouted out my path, and for a change, I have actually swapped out my Warlock for Corvus. Now, I don't normally take Corvus into war because we are alliance quest focused, and that's where he stays. I take him all the time in Alliance Quest, but Alliance Quest is down right now, so perfect. And I noticed they didn't place a defender on that first node, and then I had a tech. And as you'll see in the next section, um, I also had a Corvus charge. So I said, let me bring in my Corvus. You know, Alliance Quest is down, and I'm going to be able to get some Corvus charges here, just in case. All right, so uh, I go in here. You know, and I'm just like, yeah, this is going to be easy. Look at that, intercepting him. You know, parry, you know, doing my little medium light medium. Uh, just build up to my special two and then rip him up. And then I did that. I wasn't paying attention. Now, if you wonder what happened there, uh, I did a ending medium. And I did a, a too many combos is what happened. Um, I think I did like a full combo there into the block which you don't want to do because he's gonna do what you just saw there so i was kicking myself i'm like oh my goodness i don't believe i did that a rookie noob mistake to start off this war but i'm just like all right well we got him down at least he didn't punish us really hard all right and so i look at this heimdall and i'm like okay well he's not cleared right now uh you know with corvus i'd have taken him but it's all good. Uh, the reason you saw that is because I actually did that fight and recorded it on my iPad instead of the computer like I normally do. Um, but in any case, we're off to section two now. And I'm like, all right, well, they didn't place a defender on that first node. So my guys are in pretty decent shape. And I have a Nick Fury. And I'm pretty sure I can take this fight without any difficulty whatsoever with Nick Fury. So I said, all right, I'm going to do it, boost up. And I already, you know, checked how much energy I had. And I should be able to clear this guy Nick, uh, with Nick and my path. All right, so boosting up a little bit here. You know, that's what they're for. And uh, not crazy amounts, just a little bit. And we go in. And I love Nick Fury. If you've seen my previous wars, you know how much I love Nick Fury for Alliance War. Um, you have like that little safety net until the real Nick Fury comes out. I love it. All right, so you see here, I'm doing the, uh, um, I did a medium and uh, heavy, but this time I'm doing, you know, a bunch of mediums to try to get that open wound up. And look at this, he is just getting torn up. Nick Fury is a beast. And this is not even the real Nick Fury. This is the decoy doing this. Now, I do have uh, Deep Wounds maxed out, primarily because of Nick Fury, because I use Nick Fury in war all the time. I had to max out my Deep Wounds. All right, so again, they did not have a defender on this first node. Thank you. And I'm going to fight this guy, Sunspot. But guess what? He's a mutant. And it just so happens that one of the missions for Corvus is to defeat a mutant. So this will be my second charge for Corvus. Now, I didn't want to risk anything. I didn't think I was going to need the healing, but just in case, um, just that little extra in case I really mess up, um, it would be good to have him in there. Now, I have a six star uh, Corvus, but of course he's uh, unawakened. He is ranked two, but I haven't started using him in Alliance War really, because Warlock tended to be. Just look at how quick that fight was over. Warlock tended to be a little bit more useful to me uh, in my path and in the minis that I often saw, like that Domino uh, in a previous war. Um, although Corvus could do that as well. Now, if I get my six-star Corvus awakened, then I probably will start bringing him uh, with me in Alliance War. Uh, I may 
replace my Omega Red uh, with him uh, if that's the case. But we'll see. And of course, if I awaken my Omega Red, he's staying right there. All right, so we're done with our section. And all we have left is the boss, Doom. Now, I was asked to tackle this boss. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't think I'll be able to get the one shot, but he's going to know he was in a fight. And uh, so uh, officer said, well, go ahead and uh, do it. And uh, we'll see, you know, I'll clean up if, if necessary. I'm like, okay. Uh, now, at this point in time, the war is extremely close, but I think we are losing. The last time I looked, uh, they were ahead of us on some kills. So even if we get all three of our bosses down, which hopefully we do, uh, we probably are not going to win this one. But if we do, that will be great. Um, I believe they're already finished 100%. Uh, but it was a close war. It's a close war. So uh, I, you know, I'm boosting up, of course. Uh, it kicked me out. And I'm just like, okay, wait, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. I was trying to heal because I want to have him healed up before I use the um, health boost. And you can see here, I'm trying to be very efficient with my boosts. I didn't need to use one of the bigger boosts to max him out, but I had one of the smaller ones. So I did that. Now I'm going to scroll all the way down and use the uh, boost. There we go. Give him just a little bit of an extra cushion. And, of course, for another extra cushion, we are going to go ahead and pop one of these invulnerability boosts. It's the boss, you know. So we got that in, and uh, it took a little bit to register. And I was hoping nobody was going to jump in because we were talking about it, and I said I was going in. Um, but some people don't read. Uh, but anyway, so here we go. And I'm like, all right, now I know how to fight Doom, but on Stubborn especially, it added a lot more complication. And there was something that I didn't know about um, Stubborn and that indestructible charge that you get. All right, so the real Nick Fury is not out. Uh, so what I'm trying to do is, you know, just put as many bleeds. He's not bleed immune. All right, but see, he's indestructible right now. All right, and so boom, I parried. But then I got hit. I was trying to get the indestructible, but I had a uh, shock on me. So he was able to stun me with his heavy. All right. So here you go. I go in. There we go. He's indestructible again. All right. I, I have that shock. So now I'm trying to stay away from him while I have the shock. But then he fires the special one off again. Now I'm going in. All right. I have the shock on me again. All right. We're just trying to, you know, let that shock wear off. There we go. And now I can fire off. Uh, a special he's not indestructible so we can get a little bit of damage in now I learned something that I just hadn't noticed so when he gets indestructible if you have a bunch of bleeds like you see these big boy bleeds that were on him but they all went away I did not know that I didn't know that that indestructible would cancel the bleeds I thought that he would be um indestructible to any further damage uh there was a time where uh killmonger was bugged and that happened he was bugged but see with killmonger when he gets that indestructible he still can take uh damage over time but not for this node okay so i wasn't aware of that and i saw that and i'm like oh man all that damage lost okay but we're game we're still going all right so i'm trying to Make sure that I get that indestructible off. I don't want to go too hard into him while he has that aura up. But I'm, I'm just like baiting and, and, you know, evading those special ones like crazy. And I don't want to be in the corner. And boom, lots of damage, lots of damage. But then they go away because I couldn't keep from evading. I needed to just uh, block more. So a lot of mistakes that I made in this fight. Okay. Um, but I'm learning. This is this is one of the first times that I'm having to deal with a Doom with Nick Fury on a, a stubborn. All right. 
And so I'm, I'm trying to play around it a little bit, you know, but you want, when you have those bleeds on him, you want to not trigger the stubborn. Okay, now some people, to do this fight, they turn off their decks. And I'm sure that works out for them just well. Now, I've got the real Nick Fury out, so I'm doing a lot more damage now, right? You know, he's not doing his indestructible, but I have to evade that. So he's got the indestructible and it just kills all my damage. So look at this, and I'm off my game now. Now I'm getting caught by this, you know? I don't like long fights and I'm already getting tired. I've got that um, shock on me and boom, I got away from it, all right? Um, and then we go, I intercepted him, but all of this damage, look at this, all of this, nothing, because he was indestructible. All that damage lost, and then I got taken out. And I'm just like, wow. I played it okay in the beginning, and then it just went to pot afterwards. When I saw that it was canceling out my damage, I tried to change up a little bit in the middle of the fight. All right, so he was gonna clean it up, but then we were like, wait a minute, I got Corvus and I'm boosted. So I looked up here and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I got a boost. You know, I don't care about those skill ones, but this is Corvus. So I go in here and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm warmed up now. Okay, you wanna do as many uh, intercepts and um, just block like that and evade back early so that uh, you don't trigger that indestructible like that. So I didn't trigger Dex right there, okay? That's what you wanna do with Nick Fury as well, you know, or anyone, really. But see, like that, it's, it's like a reflex. Okay, so now I parried, got away from him, and it's lights out, all right? So at this point in time, the war is still going on, okay? You can see uh, after this, uh, we've got a, a, a couple of hours, uh, I believe, left in the war. Yeah, two and a half hours, all right? So we'll be back and we'll find out how we did in this war. And we're back. And unfortunately, we lost this war. I was pretty sure we had lost it. Uh, we just died too much. Uh, I know there was some discussion about some avoidable deaths that happened in Section 1. So we just need to tighten it up, take it a little bit more seriously. Uh, AQ is still our focus, but we are trying to make a push to uh, Platinum, and we should be able to hit Platinum uh, this season. And especially with me having to switch out of Suicides and using 80 units each time to place defense, basically, uh, I want to see good effort. You know, So I won't be happy if I don't see people you know, going into fights nicely boosted. You've seen my videos, you see that I boost up uh, and they're not boosting and dying. Uh, that's not gonna make me happy, I'll tell you that. But that's gonna do it guys for the video. Uh, take care, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day.